Before we actually start building our online commerce store, let's have a look at the back office. This is the back office, so this is where all the changes, all the customization and everything else will happen. On the other side, there is the front office, which is actually our website. Okay, so before I actually go and start exploring this back end, I'll move quickly down all the way to the bottom and in the right hand corner you'll find this option here. This is called the demo mode. At the moment I'm running a demo mode online store. Basically all of these numbers are actually fake numbers, but I think it's a good idea to have a look and understand what's actually displayed here. So I'll leave it at the demo mode at the moment. Once I've actually started building my online store, I will change this to no, so I'm not going to use the demo mode and all of these numbers are actually going to be real numbers. Okay, so let's have a look at the top. The page itself has been divided into a couple of different sections. There's the dashboard. On the left hand side, there's the activity overview. Moving down, we'll find the actual your forecast section and right at the bottom we'll find the products and sales let's move to the top and let's move all the way to the top here we'll find presto shop and currently i'm running version 1.6 we'll find a little card here which will actually give us information of the latest orders we'll find a little icon here for men and this is actually indicating the latest registrations i have the email which is actually giving me the latest messages and I have something here which is actually giving me some sort of an indication of the experience of my actual online store. Okay, moving a bit more down, we'll come to this menu here. Basically, we can select how we would like to display the data in the dashboard by using those options and links here. At the moment, it's actually set to month one. I can either choose day, which will give me today's date and all the activities in the dashboard. I can go for a whole month, which will give me information about this particular month, and I can go for a year, which of course will give me information for the whole year. Okay, the information displayed here, let me go to month, the information displayed here is either sales, which is set by the default, so I have the numerical representation here, so this is the amount of the sales that I have made, I have number of orders that I have actually got the average cart value so in this case it was 123 euros I have number of visitors I have conversion rate and I have the net profit the conversion rate is actually how many visitors have visited your site compared to actual buying customers down here like I've said I actually have the graphical representation of this and basically if you hover over the actual peak points or actual lower points you will actually get some more information regarding that particular time okay so if i hover over this particular peak point which was on the 4th of may i can see that my sales were 200 percent if i hover over this bottom one which will actually tell me that on this particular date the sales were 33 percent if i hit on orders this will actually change and give me the information about particular orders so this is exactly the same as the sales except now we are actually displaying the information about the orders as you can have a look on the actual vertical axis i have the percentage and on the horizontal i'm going to have the dates now this is not going to change the horizontal will always show you dates as the actual information of the data here is actually given in days so the period is in days if i go to the card value this is the average card value of my customers. I can see that, for example, on this particular time, my card value was a lot larger than what it is by average. So this time it was $149 euros. However, if I move all the way down here, I can see that at this particular time, the actual average card average was a lot less. You can always go and hit on visitors and this will give you some information about the visitors. Once again, if you hover over any of those points, you will get some more information on that particular time. There's the conversion rate, and, uh, and as I have already said, the conversion rate will give you the actual rate of how many customers are actually buying, how many visitors are actually your customers, so how many of them are buying something. The last option here will actually give you the net profit. Just down below, you have the same links, so you can either use the links at the top, those boxes, or you can use this ones here and actually what you can do here is for example if you would like to have sales 
versus any of these other options here so no for example let's go with visitors and then we'll compare visitors with the actual orders and basically this will give you the information which is the cart which is the conversion rate so you can compare number of visitors and number of orders and basically that rate will give you the conversion rate here so there's a lot of information and a lot of different combinations which you can use here to display all sort of informations if you look right at the top there is the configuration button which will allow you to configure how this is displayed and there's actually the refresh button here as well so basically this is the section to do with the dashboard as you have seen there's a lot of different ways in which you can compare some data and how you can actually show the data and after that you can compare the data as well if I move to the left hand side I'll find the activity overview once again there is the button to configure this and there is the refresh button online visitors in the last 30 minutes I have 20 and active shopping carts I had two in the last 30 minutes currently pending information number of orders return exchanges abandoned carts and out of stock products so this will give you a good information especially this last one about your online store then we'll have some notifications we have number of new messages and product reviews then we actually have some information about customers and newsletters basically what happens is for a person to purchase from your site they will have to sign in and become a customer once they're actually signing in or actually during the uh, signing in and registration process they'll be actually asked whether or not they would like to subscribe to your online newsletters basically the first information is how many new customers you have and the second information here is how many of those have actually signed for your newsletters and then the last information will give you the total subscribers down the bottom first of all you'll find some information so number of visitors unique visitor, visitors and actually traffic sources so basically where are those people coming from as the, the as the default we have the prestashop.com we have the google.com and direct traffic this little circle here will actually give you a more graphical representation of this information here so if you hover over for example this orange bar here you will have information about google, about visitors coming coming from google.com okay let's move back to just below our dashboard this is the dashboard we have already seen that there's some actually advertising here you can have a look at and you can actually follow this to install their plugins but let's have a look now at your forecast once again if you go all the way to the right there is the configure button and there is the refresh button the forecast has been divided into four different sections there's the traffic conversion average cart value and sales this will give you a bar representation graphical representation so for example traffic if we look for the february and we actually set some number of visitors that we forecasted and this number was 3300 but instead of this number we actually got 2220 visitors so basically we got 32.73 percent less of what we predicted and if i hover over the top one i actually get the number of those visitors that we actually thought we will get but we didn't so for the month of february this was 1080 visitors so basically you would go and you would set up some sort of a forecast for number of people that are going to come to your online store the conversion rate the average card value and the sales when you come to this graphical representation you will actually have a look how good your forecast was so how actually your forecast works so as you have as you can see we have two different colors here in each bar and we have this line here okay so basically if we look for the in the april we can see that our traffic was actually bigger than what we thought it would be for this month so for the month of april we forecasted 3900 visitors but instead of this 3000 900 visitors we actually got four and a half thousand visitors which is actually 15.46 percent more or if you hover over the top this will actually give you the exact number so this is 603 visitors more this will actually give you a nice bar representation of what you expected and what the real values are like i said for the traffic for the conversion rate for the average card value and for the sales okay so let's move down now and let's move to the products and sales this information here will actually show you your recent orders your best sellers your mostly viewed items and your top searches 
once again you can always go and change this by actually hitting on configure or you can just refresh this if you think there is some new information recent orders will actually display the last 10 orders here so basically you have the customer name you have the products so this is how many products that particular person has purchased you have the total invoice you have the date and you have action here and for all of these we can only view the details because this is a demo mode in the details section so i'll open the details you'll find some information here regarding this particular order so first of all you have the date the total amount number of messages that you have exchanged with this person in this particular case and number of products this person has actually bought here you'll find some information about this particular person you'll find their e their address their phone number and valid orders placed total spent since registration okay on the left hand side you'll find information about this particular order so this particular order has a unique code and basically you can print the order there's no invoice and no delivery slip you'll find some status here so at the moment we are waiting the bank wire payment and basically you can choose here whether or not it's been cancelled delayed and payment error and whatnot or refound Okay, once you actually selected that, you'll hit on status update and that will update the status. Down below, you'll find actually information about the shipping and then there's some information about the payment. Okay, so once we actually start running a real online e-commerce, all of this information will become available and will, will actually be valid. So let me close that. The last thing I would like to discuss is actually located right at the bottom. So that's this bit here. Basically, you can add more graphs and more data here. So if you hit on this link, this will actually take you to the Presta Shops add-on page, which is right here. Here you'll find many different add-ons and most of those are actually paid, but I do believe there are some free ones as well. So for example, if you would like to include a live chat which is pro which is responsive you will actually purchase this particular plugin for almost 60 euros and you would actually install it onto your online commerce okay so it's a good thing that you understand all the information that's shown here because this will give you a good good idea of how your online e-commerce is actually doing it will give you all sorts of information and basically according to this information you can you know if you need you can actually go and make some changes and make your online e-commerce even better